Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. Today we're going to be printing this spool winder, the V spooler mini designed by Ferber Additive, which you can print with the A1 mini. We're also going to find out if it's any good. If you're using your A1 mini to print this, you want to select the second print profile. So let's print all the parts and assemble it so we can test it out. It will take 19 hours to print everything, so let's do a time lapse. <music> So besides the parts that you need to print on seven different plates, we also need a lot of tools and components to assemble the spooler. I mean like a lot. <laughs> We're gonna need M3 screws of different lengths, ball bearings, M3 heat set inserts, PTFE grease, a soldering iron, and a short piece of PTFE tube. One tip before we start, you wanna get a metal part with a flat surface. When you use the soldering iron to install the heat set inserts, you wanna push them almost all the way in, then quickly grab that metal part and push them down so they sit flush to the surface. You also want to get this awl tool to enlarge the holes for the inserts a little bit since they're slightly smaller than the inserts. You can also drill the holes if you want. There's also a comprehensive assembly guide provided by the designer, so we're gonna follow every single step. This will surely take me around 1-2 to two hours to put everything together, so I'm just gonna do jump cuts. That looks pretty awesome. It has a nice small footprint, well at least smaller than its big brother, the V spooler. You can't print the V spooler with the A1 mini though, but you can get someone to print it for you, which is the perfect segue to talk to you about our sponsor for today's video, PCBWay. If you have a 3D printer that can't print specific materials or has a small print volume, or if you don't have a 3D printer at all, you can get PCBWay to print it for you. PCBWay offers 3D printing services and you can get them to print in any material like resin, nylon, TPU, PC, ASA, or even metal like titanium. Just upload your model to PCBWay, specify the quantity, choose your materials and so on, and hit submit request to get your quote. PCBWay doesn't just do 3D printing, they also offer other services like all kinds of PCB services, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and so much more. So make sure to check them out and visit PCBWay.com to learn more. Before we use the spooler mini to respool some filaments, let's apply PTFE grease to the cam and to the gear teeth. The grease will act as a lubricant so the moving plastic parts will last longer. Now I'm gonna transfer this white Sunlu PLA Plus filament to this empty old Sunlu spool and this beige Esun PLA Plus filament to this Bamboo Lab spool. You don't need to print a spool holder for this, you can just use the spool holder on your A1 mini. So just place the filaments that we want to transfer on the spool holder. Then we want to install the empty spool on the spooler mini. The spooler mini is made for bamboo lab spools, so my Sunlu spool won't fit in the spool clamp. To fix this, I'll just use a spool adapter which you probably have if you have the AMS light anyway. Install the spool clamp on the V-Spooler Mini, then fasten it by turning the retainer counterclockwise. Grab the end of the filament and insert it into the PTFE tube and loop it around the spool. I'm taping the end of the filament to the spool to make the process a lot easier. Then let's grab the crank handle and wind the filament onto the new spool. So 
so that took me around 20 minutes. Although the whole process worked quite well, the filament didn't get spooled cleanly, but I'm hoping that it won't be a problem. So I'm gonna wind another spool, which is this Beige PLA Plus from Eason. And I'm gonna wind this filament onto the Bamboo Lab spool. So just like the first time, I'm not really happy with how that looks. And since I'm not sure if the filaments will get tangled or anything, I'm gonna respool both filaments that we just respooled onto another empty spools and see if I run into any problems. The winding part was exhausting but they both winded without any problems and there were no tangling during the winding process at all. I'm still a bit skeptical so I'm gonna use the whole spool of this respooled white PLA plus filament to print Bamboo Lab refillable spools remixed by Robert Print with my X1 carbon and see if we'll face any tangled filaments problem. So I used up almost all the filaments on there and had zero problems. I managed to print 5 spools, well 10 halves of spools and they printed beautifully and I'm pretty happy about that. As I previously mentioned, winding the whole spool will take you around 20 to 30 minutes but you can also install this part instead of the standard one if you wanted to use a drill to speed things up. If you have the Bamboo Labs cardboard roll with the RFID tag on it, you can rip it out and tip it on this Sunlu spool for example, so your AMS will recognize the color and the type of the filament. So in conclusion, I'm pretty happy with the spooler and would definitely use it again. I did a printing test on a whole spool, but it was just one spool, so if it's gonna work with every single spool, well, only time will tell. So I hope this video and our little tests are helpful to you guys out there and I appreciate it if you could hit the like button and leave a comment on my video to help the channel out. Also consider to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and as always I'll see you guys in the next one.